Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? How was your day, guys? Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, yesterday we were talking about um, quantifiers, right? And we were remember, uh, okay, Krasna is oyente, BC, so you are BC. Ah, 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 the day, ah, okay. <laughs> I got it, boy. <clears throat> So, how many of you? You are nine, nine, ten right now, right? With me, we are nine, no, nine. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to wait three minutes more. For a while, we Good are going to care. try. Good evening, Peter. How are you? I'm fine. You? Excellent, because I'm here. I'm excellent because I'm here, but I have some problems with my throat, so <clears throat> I think that... I, good evening, I, teacher. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. I I got to get flu, right? I hope I hope it's not like this, but I'm going to try to avoid that. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we were talking about <clears throat> quantifiers, right? And we were also remembered a little bit about the preposition of place on how to give directions. Do you remember that? Yes, right? So in this case, guys, as I promised before, we are going to talk about a little bit about countable and uncountable nouns because it's something that we didn't get it yet yesterday, right? So we're going to talk about a little bit about that and we are going to make practice because today is practice time, okay? Of almost we have done during the week, okay? So yesterday we were talking about that. How many is for asking for countable nouns, right? And how much is used to ask for uncountable nouns? For example, we have how many apples do you have? How many apples are there in the fridge? How many coins do you have? How many um how many eggs do you need for the recipe? Could be, right? ¿Cuántos huevos necesitas para la receta? ¿O cuántos, este... O, how much flour do you need for the bread? To prepare the bread? Or how much uh, milk do you need for prepare the, the recipe? You can use that. Remember that milk, flour, honey, eh, what else? Salt, sugar and also water use and those kind of things are uncountable nouns and with uncountable nouns we use how much okay it's clear yes okay and how many is used to talk about countable nouns okay like apples like chairs like computers like tvs like cell phones, like a bread, okay, piece of bread, right? Or a slice of bread, we can count it, but not the name of the bread, <clears throat> because bread is not countable now. But a slice of bread, yes, they are countable because it exists some, some cases, some exceptions that are both could be countable and could be uncountable. But we are going to talk about later, okay? But that I would like to ask you, do you remember something about the yesterday class? Guys, an example, a vocabulary words, a rules about how much and how many. What do you remember, guys? <clears throat> Hello, 
Okay. Nobody? Nobody? Okay, so let's continue. After making this short review about what we were discussing yesterday, and we were talking about countable and uncountables, uh, forms of asking with how many, how much. But today we are going to define whether uncountable and countable nouns, okay? And for that, guys, I bring you a video, okay? I'm going to share the link in the WhatsApp group. You are going to watch it because in this video, also we are going to define what is the use of some and any. Remember that some is for countable nouns and any is, is for uncountable nouns. Negative and question form, okay? So, just give me some minutes, but before I'm going to pass the list, okay? So let's start. Alexa Guadalupe Lopez, Viuda de Vasquez. Present here. Excellent, Alexa. Berta Lisette Medrano Medrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Jonas Hernandez Garcia. Edwin Asuncion Abarca Celayandia. Edwin Walter Flores Munguía. José Roberto. Present teacher, present. Excellent, Edwin. Thank you so much. José Roberto Perla Guevara. Karen Beatriz Ramírez López. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Carla Susenal Flores de Ponce. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. Luis Enrique Varela Rodríguez. Mario Alexander González Zelaya. Marlenis Noemí Martínez Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlenis. Pablo Josué Mansor Cruz. Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrade. Pedro Mauricio Velázquez Sorto. Present Will teacher. Thank you, Peter. Wilfredo Gómez Robles. Jenis Noemí Contreras Mendoza. Por gusto, eh. Yuri Vanessa Rivas de Peña. Present. Thank you so Present, much. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys. After passing the list, we are going to continue with that. As I told you before, yesterday we were talking about that. And today we are going to have a practice about that. But also we are going to try to get the topic of countable and uncountable nouns for a better understanding, okay? So, before, as I told you, I'm going to share a link <clears throat> in the WhatsApp group, and I need you to watch it, okay? Watch it, and then we are going to start with the class in how to use quantifiers, okay? Just give me some minutes because I don't know why the eating the connection is a little bit bad. After that, we are going to talk about the video, okay? First, you are going to watch it, and then we are going to discuss the video.
Okay, is there. Watch it. When you finish, please let me know. And we are going to continue with that. Okay, go ahead. Be ready with taking notes, okay? Because we're going to talk about that and we are going to make some questions. Please, don't forget that. Who is in the chat? Edwin. Okay, hi, Marlene said hi. Teacher, okay, present. And with Flores, okay, perfect. Excellent. So, go ahead. Okay, Mario. Okay, Mario, no worries. Got it. If you have any question, please let me know, guys. Finish. Guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
Guys, did you finish? Okay, so it's short, okay? There is not take much time. Please just let me know in the chat if you already finished because in that way we're going to pass to another stage of the activity okay remember that this is just to remember what are the countable and uncountable nouns and how we are going to use the word some and any remember that some is used for talking about countable nouns and also any but any is mostly used when we are talking about sentences in negative form and also in some questions and the other hand some is used to talk about positive sentences, countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, is clear? Is there? <clears throat> guys, guys. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Marlene dice so so dice. Eh, Marlene dice I have bad internet connection. I'm freezing. Can you hear me? I'm frozen. Marlene, can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me, guys? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Congelada la imagen, teacher. Solo le escucho. Ah, okay. If you want, ah, no. Te escuchamos, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for noticing me, right? Okay, maybe it's the, it's the internet connection. Okay, so let's continue. As I told you before, this video is just to remember how to use the word some and any. ¿Qué significa some? What does the meaning of some? Guys? Do you remember? <laughs> Guys? No? Okay, some is algunos, right? Algunos, algunas. It, depend, it depends on what you're talking about. And also we have any. Any is for saying ninguno o ninguna o nada de alguna cosa, right? For example, if you're talking about food, we can say any, any apples, any eggs, any cheese, any what? Any, 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 any potatoes, any carrots, any bottle of water or any bottle of milk or any cup of coffee, right? Remember that you can, you can make measures, right? You can call back making the measure, las medidas, ¿verdad? Si usted va a contar 
este, el jugo de naranja, o la, el agua, o el café, o la leche, o la harina, ¿verdad? O la sal, o el azúcar, usted lo puede contar, pero con medidas. Por ejemplo, si tenemos una taza de azúcar, una taza de harina, una caja de harina, right? In that case, you can use that. You can count it, but when you use measures, right? But in the other hand, if you are talking about the general norms of flour, of sugar, of salt, of oil, right? Or water or milk, it is not possible counting because they are uncountable norms, okay? Just in that way, you can count it. But the other hands, you cannot count it, okay? So, let's continue. And what are some examples of countable and uncountable notes that you can find in the video? ¿Qué fue mi amor? Uh-huh. What are some examples of countable and uncountable notes that you can find in the video, guys? Guys. Guys, remember that the participation during the class is so important in, in the course. If you don't participate, if you're going to rest points in your Yes, in your score, okay? Remember that also. Is it is important also that you, that you keep your camera in mood on, okay? But if you want to stay there, but you can participate. It's important that you do it. Remember that the most you practice, the most you learn. I always told you that, okay? So what are some countable examples that appear in the video? Tomatoes, eggs, a piece of bread, also can of soda, a, uh, ice ice cream. But in this case, if you buy the some this the 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 box of ice cream, right? Remember that there exists a box of ice ice cream. You can count it, but in the in the other case, not. If they are containers, yes, but if they are not in containers, you cannot count it. Okay, so those are some countable nouns: tomatoes, eggs, apples, carrots, potatoes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? But in the other hand, with don't countable nouns, we have water, we 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 have ice, right? We have cheese, we have Soda, but soda in general. Remember that if you say a can of soda, it can be count. But if you are talking about the general norms of soda, it is not countable norms, okay? So this is just to remember the one, the things that we were talking yesterday, okay? So let's pass it to the next stage. We're going to talk about a little bit more about how much and how many. Do you remember how much and how many? When we are going to use how much and when we are going to use how many. Do you remember? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. When we are going to use how much? Cuánto cuesta, cuánto vale. Hola? Cuánto cuesta o cuánto vale. Va, no. ese, ese es un caso. Mm. How much? How much is it costs, porque surgió la pregunta, ¿verdad? De cómo, de que si era correcto decir en cuanto al ejemplo de cuánto cuesta algo. Porque el dinero no se puede contar, ¿verdad? Se cuentan las moneditas, los billetes, pero en realidad el, el nombre de dinero en general no se puede contar. Por eso es que se ocupa how much. Pero how much también se puede ocupar con otros uncountable nouns. ¿Y cuáles son los otros uncountable nouns, guys, que ustedes pudieron ver en el video? Water. Water. How much water do you need? Milk. Ajá. Uh -huh. How much milk do you need? Spaghetti. <coughs> ¿Cómo? Perdón. Spaghetti. A spaghetti, how much spaghetti do you need or you do, you, do you want? Uh-huh. Lemon. Okay, but in this case, lemons are countable or uncountable nouns? Uncountable. 
Countable. Countable. And with a, with countable notes, countable. what for we are going to use? How much or how many? How many? How many? Okay. Remember that many is for countable nouns. Okay. For example, how many lemons do you need for the lemonade? ¿Cuántos limones necesitas para la para la limonada o para preparar la limonada? Ah, tanto. And how much sugar do you need to prepare the lemonade? ¿Cuánta azúcar necesitas para preparar la limonada? Ta, 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 ta. I need some sugar. I need some lemons. Remember that some is used, it's a quantifier that is used with countable and uncountable nouns. You can use it in both cases, right? In order to refer <coughs> the amounts of something that you need. Okay, <clears throat> or the quantity that you need, and you and you are not going to specify what is what is exactly the amounts of things, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about that. How many, how much it is used to make questions, right? About quantities, right? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ellos, chicos? What is the difference between of them? How much means cuánto, cuánto. And we use to, we use with nouns, okay? In countable nouns, <clears throat> as I told you before, right? And how many means cuántos, cuántos. Lo mismo, it's the same. The, the difference between of them is the context that you are talking about. Remember that one of them is used to Countable nouns and the other is for uncountable nouns. But in this case, how many means cuantos cuantas, and we use it to one countable nouns, right? And also to make questions with countable nouns. For example, how much do use do you need? Or how much use do you want? Cuánto jugo quieres? But in this case, it's uncountable nouns. Number two, how many oranges do you want? ¿Cuántas naranjas quieres? O ¿Cuántas naranjas <coughs> necesitas? Right? So how much is the verb? The beer, right? In this case, it's not the verb, it's the beer. How much? This is an example about what we were talking about yesterday. ¿Cuánto vale tal, tal cosa? El sustantivo en este caso es el money, que es lo que le estaba diciendo, que significa dinero. Pero en este caso, como es un nombre no contable, that's why we use how much. <clears throat> But it's intrinsic, right? Está, in, está tácito. And then how much is the verb, the beer, right? You're not going to specify the word money, but you already know that the beer costs amounts of money, right? So it is intrinsic. So also we use how much for talking about quantities, but quantities that are not countable. For example, how much milk do you need to buy? Or how much milk do you buy every day? ¿Cuánta leche compras diariamente or daily? You can use that. Ah, I buy some milk and also you can use the measures you can use the box of milk okay in este caso puedes contestar con esa o con la otra okay you can answer in the two ways okay how much money do you have how much money do you have ¿Cuánto dinero tienes? ah i have some money i have some money but not too much, okay? Tengo un poco de dinero, pero no mucho, okay? How much sugar do you eat daily, right? Good question. How much su sugar do you eat daily? ¿Cuánta azúcar comes diariamente o quieres diariamente? Okay? How much honey is there in the jar? How much Honey is there in the jar. ¿Cuánta miel hay en el? En el frasco, right? So, 
Honey is not countable now. So that is why we use how much, okay? So let's talk about more examples. But in this case, we're going to use how many to talk yeah. about quantities, okay? Remember that quantities, otherwise that you can count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And we use how many for know the quantity of units are available for each article or each item in this case, in a particular item, right? For example, we have, how many roses do you buy? How many roses do you buy? How many roses do you buy? ¿Cuántas rosas compraste? How many giraffes are there in the zoo? How many giraffes are there in the zoo? ¿Cuántas jirafas hay en el zoológico? How many meters of rope do you need? How many meters of rope do you need? ¿Cuántos metros de cuerda necesitas? Okay, because a meter could be countable, okay? How many bananas are there in the basket? ¿Cuántos plátanos o cuántas bananas hay en la canasta? How many days are there in the year? How many days are there in the year? Or how many days are in the year? You can use that. ¿Cuántos días hay en el año? ¿Cuántos días en el año? Okay, so in that way you can ask with how many and how much. And here we have some examples talking about the measure. As I told you before, we have bottle, we have pieces, right? And we have a, another kind of things. For example, you can use box or you can use a can of soda. Okay, how many bottles of milk are there? There are three bottles of milk. How much milk do you have in the refrigerator? There is some milk, okay? There is some milk. This is a way you can answer the questions, okay? Using there is. Remember the topic that we were talking yesterday also. There is and there are. There is for singular and there are for plurals, okay? Ay, ¿y qué significa there is? What does it mean? Ay, ay. It used to refer that something exists or not, as, or not exist, okay? Is clear? Okay, how much milk do you have in the refrigerator? How many pieces of chicken do you have? I have two. There are, or there are two. You can answer in the two ways. You can use there or you can use have. It depends on what you are using in the question. How much roasted chickens do you want? I want ah. some. Okay. And why some? Because the roast chicken is in general, it's not a countable knot. The things that you are going to count is the piece of chicken that you can get, okay, from those chicken. Okay, it's clear. Any questions so far, guys? No? Okay, perfect, but okay, after, after making this review about how many and also the countable nouns, because we don't have enough time to, to get the three topics that we have to complete with that, in order to understand what are quantifiers, remember that exists in many, much, mm -hmm. and a lot, a lot of, right? Remember that a lot of is used in both cases with countable and uncountable nouns. But also remember that we were talking about yesterday that a lot of is an informal way to say. And we cannot use a lot of when we talk about a formal document. You cannot write it down a lot of when you are going to write a report or when we are going to write uh, a letter or something like this. You can use it in your daily life but in speaking with friends and something like this, but you cannot use it in formal documents. Okay, it's clear? Yes, no? Guys? 
more or less. More or less. Okay. Okay, so let, let's have a practice. In order to solve that, just give me some minutes. I'm going to stop the share right now. We're going to make a practice. I'm going to show you what you are going to find there. And then we're going to pass to the manual, okay? Remember that we have to finish also the manual, guys. Just give me some minutes. Okay, is there? I'm going to show you what you are going to find there. Just give me some minutes. So let's do an exercise about countable and uncountable nouns. So what we are going to do here, guys. So we are going to display this part and we are going to choose the best option. What is a right? Remember that right? Rice can be count or can can not be count. No, you can count the rice. No. no, no, right? So that means it is countable or uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. So you are going to choose the option uncountable nouns and so on, right? You are going to analyze what is countable and what is not countable nouns. And you are going to decide what is the best option if it is countable or if it is not countable. And you are going to choose it. Okay? Okay. Okay. After that, guys, when we finish the first part, we are going to make the following. Remember that yesterday we were talking about there is and there are. Okay? We are going to fill in the gaps with some any a or m do you remember the indefinite articles a and m when we're going to use a mm -hmm. un, uno, uh, uh, una. when we're going to use a, uh, a, 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 a. Mm -hmm. when the next word start with Memory. Hello? Mm. When the next word start with a vowel or with a consonant sound? Consonant sound. With a consonant sound. And when we're going to use A? Vowel. With the next word start with, with a vowel sound. Okay. And any means ninguno, ninguna. Remember that. And some means. Algunos, algunas. Okay, so you are going to write here the best option that corresponds to each, each sentence that you have here. For example, there is... There is an apple. There is an apple, a apple, okay? Because this is a vowel song. The next word starts with a vowel song and so on, right? You are going to fill it in. And then we are going to continue with the part number three. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, en yes. ese caso, uh -huh. eh, there is, eh, no se usa el an. Mm, oh, okay, yes. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Yes, Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is a vowel song. Yes, you're right. That's okay. All my... Okay, perfect. So, after that, we are going to fill in the gaps with how much and how many, Okay. What are countables and what are uncountable nouns? How many potatoes are there? This is the first example. Quantas patatas hay? ¿Por qué how many? Because potatoes is countable. Countable. And also here we have the S of the plural form. Plural. Do you remember that? Plural. Okay, perfect. So in this case, you're going to write how many or how much. It depends on what is talking about the sentences that you have. How there. much? How much? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, go ahead. You chat, puede poner el link en, la, en el chat de la meeting. 
Okay, you don't have access to the WhatsApp group. No. Okay, perfect. I just give me some minutes and I'm going to write that there. Okay, it's there. Thank you. You're welcome.
If you need some help, you can ask me, guys, with the vocabulary words. Finish. Okay, we already finished. Carlos, no, more time, please. Okay, perfect. I'm going to give you five minutes more. I guess it is enough.
Okay, who already finished? Let's check it. Let me check. Okay, Carla Susana Flores is already done. Okay, so you got nine or ten. Congratulations, Carla. Excellent. Let's see. Excellent. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Okay, who already finished? Done, okay, Carla is done. Perfect, thank you so much for noticing me. Somebody else? Somebody else, guys? Okay, let's check it. Edwin is already done. Also, eight of ten. Congratulations, Edwin. Congrats. Excellent. Somebody else? Okay, let's check it. If you want, we can do it together, guys. Because of the time, because we have to see the manual also, right? We have to finish that part and we need more time. Okay, let's see. The first one, right, is on countable nouns, we say, right? So let's talk about burger. Burger is countable or uncountable nouns? Countable. Countable, yes, because we have we can count one hamburger or burger, one, two, three, four, and five. You can eat five hamburgers and it's countable, okay? Burger is like the contraction of hamburger, okay? So yeah. Let's see with the number three. Potato. Potato is countable or uncountable? No. Countable. Countable, excellent. So also banana. Banana is countable or uncountable? No. Countable. Countable. Sala is countable or uncountable? No. Uncountable. Uncountable because we're going to say one salad, two salad, three salad, right? No. It's a general noun. So in this case, it's not countable. Also, pasta. Pasta is countable or uncountable? No. Uncountable. Uncountable. And milk? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable because we cannot say one milk, two milks, three milks. No, right? It's just one milk or a milk. Also, we have sugar. Sugar is countable or uncountable? No. Uncountable. Uncountable. And water? Uncountable. Uncountable. Tomato? Countable. Countable because we can count one, two, three, and four tomatoes, right? And have a plural. Avocado, countable or uncountable noun? Countable. Countable because we can count it, right? Celery, celery is countable or uncountable noun? Countable. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Okay. Cilantro, podemos decir un cilantro, dos cilantros, o yes or not? Yes. Yes, right. Ketchup. Ketchup no, is countable no, or uncountable? Countable. Uncountable. Sure? Uncountable. La salsa dulce, una salsa dulce, dos salsas dulces, no, right? Podemos contarlas siempre y cuando tengamos una medida. Un bote de ketchup, dos botes de ketchup, sí, pero el, el nombre en realidad, ketchup en general, ketchup or ketchup, right? 
no se puede contar. Cheese is contable or uncountable. Contable. It's uncountable, right? Because we cannot say one cheese, two cheese, three cheese, no, right? It has an apura. We can say some cheese. Un poco de queso. Más no tres, cuatro, cinco quesos. Right? No. Y escribió una libra. Be, pero eso es una medida. de que Eso tiene una medida. Cuando estamos hablando de medida, sí se puede contar. Pero la palabra general queso es no contable. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. So, let's see. Bread. Bread is countable or uncountable no. Uncountable. 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 Very good. Onion is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Meat is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. You can say I want or I need some meat, but you cannot say one meat, two meat, three meat. No, it has a pura. And also your word. Your word has uncountable. Uncountable. Because it doesn't have plural also. We can count it by saying a border of your word, right? But your word in general, no. Orange? Contable. Contable. Butter? Contable or uncountable? Contable. Contable. We can say some butter, but not one, two, three butter. No, right. Orange is contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Okay, thank you so much. So let's continue with the second part. Let's talk about there is and there are. Remember that there are is plural and there is is singular. Okay, so the first was, the first one is there is an apple. There the second one. Any. any. There aren't any, any eggs. Okay, very good. Number three, there is an a sandwich. A sandwich? Yes. Or uh, any sandwich? A. A uh, sandwich. Okay, a sandwich. perfect. Number four, there is? Some. Some. Some orange juice. Number five, there isn't? Any rice. Any rice. Number six, there aren't? Uh, Some orange. Some oranges some. or any. 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 Remember that any is used any. with negative sentences. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. There isn't any milk. Any, any milk. milk. Okay. There are some bananas. Mm. Some bananas. Some se puede ocupar con positive sentences, countable or uncountable nouns. It depends. Okay. There is some bread, okay? There are some tomatoes. Some tomatoes, because se puede ocupar some con contables and uncountable nouns, okay? Eso es a todo dar, como dice, right? So, 11. There isn't <clears throat> any cheese. Any cheese. Any cheese. Mm -hmm. 12. There is. Uh, um, an avocado, okay. Mm -hmm. Number 13, there isn't any ketchup, mm -hmm. any ketchup, okay. And 14, some water. some water, there is some water, excellent. So, ya le hallaron, verdad? Como vamos a identificar, okay, perfect. Sí. Yeah. Now, we're going to use how much and how many. The first one is how many potatoes are there. The second one, how many or how much? <clears throat> how much? How much? Remember that butter is not countable. So that is why we use how much. Okay, how much is there? Cuánta margarina o, ma o, barra o mantequilla hay ahí, verdad? This is uncountable. Number three. <clears throat> how much? How Jesus. much? Also, right? How much? Because cheese is not countable. Number four. How much? How much? Excellent. How much honey is there? Honey is not countable also, right? So let's see number five. How many? How many? How many oranges are there? Number six. How much? 
How much? How much? How much? Because bread is not countable. Okay, so that is why we use how much. Number seven. How many sausages? Okay, how many sausages are there? Right? How many? Number eight. Yes. Mayonnaise. How mm -hmm. much or how many? How much? How much? How much mayonnaise is there? Number nine. How, how much, much or how many? How much? How much? How, how much? much? Excellent. How much? Who is in the phone now? How much sugar is there? And the last one, guys, number 10. How, how much or how many? many? How many sandwiches? How many sandwiches are there? Okay, perfect. So let's check it. <laughs> no, we got 10 of 10. Okay, look at this. 10 of 10. So you are pretty on that, okay? So that means we already managed this topic, okay? So I'm going to stop to share and we are going to pass with the manual, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, pero ya ahora sí, ya, ya más o menos, ¿verdad? Le vamos hallando la, a la cosa de utilizar el sum, el any, cuando vamos a utilizar how much, cuando vamos a utilizar how many, cuando vamos a utilizar any, ok, and those kind of things, cuando vamos a utilizar there is, there are, right? So let's continue. Just give me some minutes in order to open the platform because I don't know why the internet connection is so bad. It takes a lot of time to chart. Pero a cargar el chico porque no quiere. Okay, guys, awesome. Okay, so, so we are going to make the practice about there is and there are. There are the topics that we were talking about during this week, okay? How to use there is and there are plus quantifiers that are the ones that we already did, okay? So in this case, Remember that there is is for singular forms and there is for plural forms. So in this case, we're going to have these examples in order to explain how is how it's used. Okay, there is an ATM across the street. There is an recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, right? There is no clothing factory around the corner. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left sides of the street. There are no hospital on Barnes Street. So what we are going to do here, we are going to put in practice how to keep directions, how to say uh, when we talk about the street, right? And also we are going to use the there is and there are and also we're going to talk about places in town, okay? Is clear? Ah, 
after this, we are going to complete the exercise with there is or there are and a quantifier. The quantifier is between parentheses in some cases, right? If it is needed, you are going to use it. But if it is not needed, you are not going to use it. If you see, this is the positive form and also this one. But here is include the quantifier. And the number three, we have no. The word not means that this is a negative sentences. So what you are going to do here, you are going to say there is not or there isn't a requirement sentences around the building. Is clear? For example, we're going to make the first one. Marketing presentations across the street in the morning. Okay, so let's talk about positive questions. There is a there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay, you're going to you're going to use there is or there are. It depends. Or maybe you are going to use the positive form or the negative form. It depends on what they are talking about. For example, the number three, we have the word not, so that means it is negative. And how is the negative? There isn't, okay? Is clear? Okay, go ahead.
Edwin is already done, guys. Somebody else? Okay, let's do it together, guys. So let's continue with number two. Here we have a quantifier. Sum, right? So in this case, we have a plural form also here. So that means we are going to use there is or there are? Uh, there is. No, because we have a plural. There are some. There are some business workshops down the street, okay? Hay algunos de este capacita hay algunas capacitaciones de negocios yendo hacia la calle a la parte de abajo, right? So, yendo right. para abajo, right? De la calle. Okay? So, let's continue with the number three. Here we have a plural form because we have an S and we have the word not. So, that means it is negative okay if we have a plural form there are not there are not recruitment centers around my building okay remember that no is the word not okay so let's see number four vamos a identificar it is singular or plural no, right? Singular. Because we don't have an S. It is singular. And we have a word not. So that means it is yes. there is not there is not a store on the corner of the Roosevelt Street in the second avenue. Okay, aquí se me olvidó poner A. Okay, porque es singular. Ahora bien, vamos para el número 5, number 5. Identi mm -hmm. Identify. Banks is plural or singular? Plural. 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 So that means we're going plural. to use plural. there. There are. There are. Muy bien, excelente. There are. ¿Tiene el quantifier ahí? No me fijé. No, right. Banks. There are banks behind the factory I work. Okay. And the last one, guys, we have a singular. So that means it is. There are some. No, some. I know. no. There is not a quantifier in, between that. No, in, also, in banks. Number cinco. No, because they are not writing down the quantifier. Here, yes, we have it. Mm -hmm. But here, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So, it's clear how we are going to use this? Okay. Take a picture and share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group, guys. In order you have it. Okay, it's there. Because we are going to erase this. By the way, are you taking notes?
¿Están tomando notas, chicos? Si no, no lo borro. Yes, no. Yes. Finish. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. So we're going to erase this. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. After this, guys, what we are going to do, you're going to create a conversation with your partners in which you are going to describe the places that are around the building using the grammar that you have here, okay? So you're going to start with this module, okay? Tell me where do you work? I work in blah, 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 right? Where is it? Donde queda? Donde es? Ah, it's in... Y van a dar la dirección del lugar donde usted trabaja. And you, where do you work? Well, y ahí la van a ir continuando. Quiere decir que vamos a trabajar en parejas. We're going to work in pairs and we are going to get our own information in this module. Okay? It's clear? It's clear. What you're going to do? Okay, perfect. So just give me some minutes and I'm going to make the breakout rooms. How many of you? Okay, Steve. If you're alone, please let me know, guys. And I'm going to change you, okay? Go ahead, guys. Guys, get into the breakout rooms, please. Okay, I'm going to move you, Carla. Carla, I move it to room number three.
Lisette, la movía sala 5 con Alexa. Laura, la movía sala 5. Jenny la movía a la tres.
practiquemos el rolls. Vaya, pues. Sí, porque crees que... Tell me um, where do you go. I work in caja de crédito de la Unión. What is it? It is in front of Hotel Puerto Bello and annex to Flow Flore Guatemala. Uh -huh. Where do you work? And and you where do you work? Well, I work in Pollo Campero. It is in front of the Central Park against Pro America Bank. Sí. Pues sí, ya lo tenemos. <laughs> Jenny creo que ya se fue hola Jenny practiquémoslo nuevamente entonces ok hola Hi. teacher hello Karen hello, hello, hello. 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 did you finish yes ok yes. excelente try to switch ok Tratemos de cambiar ya. los roles para aprender las dos partes de la conversación. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect. ¿Mother? La usted ahorita. Ok. Dice, tell me where do you work. I work in caja de crédito de la Unión. Where, where is it? Is it in front of Hotel Puerto Bello and next to Guatemala's Flower. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in Pollo Campero. Mm -hmm. It is um, in, front of, it is in, in front of um, the Central Park. Uh -huh. And um, Against Promerica Bank. And against Promerica Bank, sí. Yes. Yes. Ok, excelente. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bueno, voy a dar un ratito, voy a chequearlo del otro grupo porque solo poquitos han entrado. No sé ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. And you. Apurate. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola. 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 Ah, es que bueno, yo quería hacer, bueno, déjamela para el ratillo. Ah, Ay, pues, el grupo tell... lo hacemos otra vez para que practique más. Eso. <risa> tell... ah, vamos a ver. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Perfect. Tell me where do you work? I work in Caja de Crédito de la Unión. What is it? It is for North Avenue and One Avenue Street West in front of Uh, beautiful port in La Unión. Where do you work? Dale. Where do you work? Uh, I'm in Pollo Campes, uh, uh, North Avenue in front of Central Park. Finish. Finish. Okay, now switch. Me temblaron las manos, ya te vas. Switch. Sí. Cambio de rol. Ahora usted va a ser el, el B y el otro chico y Roberto va a ser el A. Y así uh, sucesivamente. No, o si fue el A va a ser el B, así. Vaya, eh, tell me, where do you work? In Pollo Campestre. Where is, where is this? I not Avenue in front of Central Park. Uh, uh -huh. And you, where do you work? 
I work in Cajay Credito La Unión. Right. Finish. Okay. No, where is? No, where is pronto. it? Ah, Yo, qué is. corto, Diego. Where do you work? <laughs> no, me, Roberto, concentrate. <laughs> Vaya, otra vez. Eh, tell me, where do you work? I work in ca uh, I work in Pollo Campero. Where is this? Uh, it is uh, not Avenue in front of Central Park. And you, where do you work? I work in Caja de Crédito La Unión. Y luego, <laughs> well. <laughs> where is this? Donde queda eso? Donde where is it? Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? It is First North Avenue and One Avenue Street West in front of Beautiful Port La Union. Finish. Okay, perfect. Clap to you. <laughs> Clap to you guys. And el can, el congratulations. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Se puso nervioso cuando le hicieron la entrevista. Usted lo pone nervioso. ¿eh? No, hombre, la entrevista. Es que me lo voy a pinchar en el examen. Por eso, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to let you practice in here for a while. I'm going to check the last, the last script. Okay? okay? So I see you in some minutes. Okay. Thank you. Hello, girls. Como van, chicas? Lisette and Laura. Laura, Lisette. Laura and Lisette, are you there? Hola. Okay. No, no, entendimos, no entendimos mucho lo que vamos a ver, pero... Ah, ok. Bye. Ahí tenía que hacer una conversación con el modelo que les estaba presentando en pantalla al principio. Lo único uh -huh. que usted iba a poner su información personal, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde trabaja usted? Este, ¿Cómo llegar al trabajo? ¿Dónde está usted? Y así sucesivamente. Uh -huh. Como ya lo hemos hecho. Uh -huh. Así uh -huh. es. Pero siempre uh -huh. tomando en cuenta el modelo de, de la, del manual. De la okay. página 42, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Voy a give you some minutes more, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, perfecto.
Hello, guys. Okay. So let me check. Everybody's here. Okay. We are going to just take two examples, okay? Just two head of words. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with um with Karen in Compañía, okay? Karen, you work with? Okay, teacher. Okay. Carlita. Carlita. Okay. Tell, me where, tell me where do you work? I work in Caja de Crédito de la Unión. Where is it? It is for, it is in front of Hotel Puerto Bello and annexed to Flores Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And you where do you work? Well, I work in Pollo Campero. It is in front of the Central Park against Romerica Bank. Okay. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. And now we're going to continue with Jose Roberto and Edwin, please. Encender el, encender el micrófono, Roberto. <laughs> Roro. <laughs> ya, chiquita. Ya, ya. <laughs> Vamos a abarcar. Dale. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, what's your name? My name is Edwin Abarca, and you? My name is Jose Roberto. Nice to meet you, Robert. Nice to meet you, too. Um, tell me where is you work? I work in Caja de Crédito La Unión. It is for North Avenue and one Avenue is in West. In front of us, Hotel Beautiful Park and in La Unión. Where do you work, Robert? I work in Pollo Campero. Where is this? Uh, it is North Avenue in front of Central Park. Perfect. Finch. Okay. okay. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Trabajamos en el mismo lugar, Roberto. Sí, <laughs> así, así, así estaba. Bye. Estaba dándome cuenta en el pollo campero. No, es que... Tienen, es que tienen hacer, hambre. No, es que para hacerlo un poquito más diferente la conversación, no me voy a ver bien raro así. Es que, what a coincidence that you work at pollo campero. Sí. Cuando, ah, no, no, cuando vaya a la unión voy a llegar al pollo campero, no, no, no me atiendo. No, ahí le puedo hacer una invitación. I just kidding. <risa> Mire, ¿y a dónde está don Roberto? Y doña, do, doña Carla. Ni los conocemos, mamá. No los conocemos, ¿sabes quiénes son? I'm just kidding. No, that's funny, right? Ok, so, guys, we're going to stop here. Vamos a continuar, chicos, eh, con el periodo de las tareas. Me gustaría saber cómo vamos con las tareas, chicos. Si no, aprovechamos estos últimos nueve minutos y hacemos las tareas. ¿Les parece? Yo, el único problema que tengo es con iniciar con el usuario. Al principio no dieron un usuario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, ese usuario, yo no sé cómo entrar nuevamente para entrar al blog de las tareas. Y no le, no, le, no le agarra el usuario que le dieron, entonces. Es que el problema está como... Andaba poco en el dispositivo, tuve que eliminar un montón de imágenes, videos, de todo, ¿verdad? Entonces yo necesito recuperar eso. Eh, siempre a la, al, al, perdón, a la, al WhatsApp uh -huh. les puedo escribir que me puedan proporcionar nuevamente el correo y la contraseña. Sí, escríbale a Carla Lemos, ¿ok? Carla, vos solito. Vos solo puedes cambiar la contraseña. ¿Mm? Vos solo puedes cambiar la contraseña. Pero es que necesita ¿Cómo? el usuario, dice Carla. El Pero usuario, es, el, es que yo el, el número de... principal, Joaquín. El número de Duy es. ¿Mm? No, el usuario es el correo. Ah, el correo. Uh -huh. ah. No. Y no es el mismo correo que usa. El correo es el usuario y la contraseña es del 1 al 8. 
Vale, déjame ver si lo hago rápido. Trate, Roberto, please. Si no, se me va a quedar en el curso, Roberto. El link, creo que te lo envié. Pero puedes buscarlo ahí en internet, inglés. Eh... Por la corporativo. Online. Soy... No, inglés corporativo, inglés corporativo. Es online.ingléscorporativo.net. Por eso, ya estoy ahí en la principal. Le doy a inglés de principiante en módulo 1. Ajá. Pero le doy clic y no puedo entrar. ¿Manda la captura de pantalla? Vaya, ahí le voy a mandar la captura de la pantalla, ¿verdad? Yo sé que le voy a dar clic ahí porque fue la primera vez que lo hice. Uh -huh. Ah, quiero ver qué pasa. Rápido, rápido. Vale, aquí estoy. Esa, ¿verdad? Le doy clic donde dice... Bueno, los códigos principales de módulo 1, le doy clic, ¿verdad? Pero no, no me deja pasar de ahí. En las tres líneas. ¿Dónde? En, las tres líneas? en las tres rayitas, ahí a tu no. izquierda. Auxilio. Y ahí le doy a iniciar sí. sesión, ¿verdad? Yes. Pongo mi correo. Y la contraseña es del 1 al 8, ¿verdad? Yes. <risa> Chiquito. <risa> Chiquito le dice, cae. Ay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis. Ah, Roberto, el que suena en las teclas. Sí. No. Te descubrimos. No. Ya Pero, casi a lo no. último se dan cuenta, Karen y Carla, que Roberto es que es. Lo te dice José Robert en correo, José Robert, arroba fanmail.com. Ese uh -huh. es tu correo. Sí, el que proporcionaste fue. Ese te dejó entrar. Con Google, Google mejor. Siempre me pide el mismo correo. Sí. Eso. O sea, no. Siguiente. Sí, che. Yes. Tengo una duda, nos enviaron una encuesta, ah, pero yo no pude abrir eso. No, Karen, esa la vamos a hacer el día de mañana. Les mandaron un correo, ah, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, al WhatsApp, sí, nos mandaron. Sí, el día de mañana. Sí, el día de Ajá. mañana con el facilitador, dice ahí. Entonces, el Ajá. día de mañana nos van a dar una, una hora en específico, que generalmente es la, las 8 y 20, pero vamos a esperar indicaciones, chicos. Y vamos a realizar lo que es la encuesta acerca del curso, ¿verdad? Sí. Solo son algunas, ajá, solo son algunas preguntitas, ¿verdad? Este que usted tiene que, que contestar, ¿verdad? Son como opciones, no es tanto el, el, el trabajo. Luego de eso, cuando terminemos la encuesta, usted le va a tomar captura en la encuesta. Me la va a mandar al WhatsApp Room con su nombre completo, ¿ok? Está bien. Pero bueno, es el gracias. día de mañana. No lo Exacto, está ahorita. bien. Okay. No, no, no. <risa> okay, no es que solo le di el mensaje, pero como usted no había dicho nada y nadie preguntó, mejor lo hago yo. <risa> sí, no, está bien, Karen. Sí, porque si no, no, a veces no me equivoco. <risa> se lo vamos a mandar ahora. <risa> no, no hay problema. ¿no? El día de mañana sí le vamos a hacer. Porque el día de mañana está finalizamos bien. el curso. ¿Ok? <risa> está bien, gracias. Perfecto. Roberto, ¿pudo entrar, Roberto? No, pongo mi ese, el correo, ¿verdad? José Robert, sí. el que proporcioné. Dice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Voy a iniciar. Me dice iniciar tu... Perdón, me voy a Así. Ok, Edwin, ¿tú tienes una pregunta? Mm, yes, eh, yo mañana no puedo conectarme, no sé cómo hago. Ah, pero eso Edwin tiene que hablarle con los chicos del staff mm. para ver qué le puede decir. Usted escriba leer privado siempre a Carla. A Carla. Ajá. No. Ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp está Carla Lemos, inglés corporativo. Le puede escribir a ella comentándole pues el motivo, ¿verdad? Por el cual mm -hmm. usted no se puede conectar. Y pues ella le va a decir qué hacer. ¿Ok? Gracias. Perfecto. Sí, porque yo no, no estoy autorizada para dar permiso. Entonces, él... <ríe> y peor el último día. Ajá, y es el último día. 
Entonces, usted tal, tal vez sí nos podría ayudar también mandando la encuesta, ¿verdad? Para el día de mañana. Ah, así es que tal vez si tuviera el, así como que el, el, el momento preciso podría ser ahí conectarme en ese Ajá, al WhatsApp me voy a mandar y le voy a decir, mire, sí. este, este tal, tal cosa. Entonces, uh -huh. para que usted esté pendiente. Oiga. Carlita, Ok. Mañana temprano, voy a temprano, Carlita, me ayuda. Two minutes. Se nos fue el tiempo, chicos. Two minutes. Roberto. ¿Qué pasa, chiquito? Es que me, 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 me estoy deprimiendo tanto porque no puedo entrar. Eso me, me molesta. Sí, te vas a bloquear. No hay mañana, mamá. Chiquito, controlate. Mejor mañana. Mañana le va a ayudar a caer. Ahí te va a quedar un código para que cambies la contraseña. Vale. Carlita también me le va a ayudar, Roberto. No se preocupe. Okay. Carlita mañana va a llegar a las 7. Sí. Ah, pues. Yo ya ingresé mi correo, no le estoy mintiendo. ¿verdad? No, ahí revisa tu correo ahorita. ¿Mi correo electrónico? No, el mío. <risa> Lo vas a estresar. A bar. Hoy no va a dormir, por Roberto. Yo, yo, yo hoy atendí casi, casi 50 clientes que ya estaba hasta loco ya. Hasta, la, hasta las 12 de, media, de la medianoche tenés hoy día ahí. <risa> Todavía escucho las voces de los clientes. <risa> de verdad. De verdad. Uh -huh. Solo esto he ahorrado, te digo. No, me, 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 me quieren. Ahí es cuando el momento que me quieren porque estoy devolviendo todos los ahorros. Ah, ah, así que otro también en ese, en ese aspecto, como devuelve los ahorros. Sí. ¿Y va a perder alguna cuentecita sexy? No, me lo voy a llevar todo. Ay. No, no se lo lleve. Me tomo fondo. Vaya, hoy sí, inicia sesión. ¡Wow! Hoy sí se va a dar gusto completando las tareas, Roberto, y no va a dormir. Tengo que terminarlas. No. Sí, si no me le van a jalar las orejas mañana porque no se ha completado sí. la plataforma. Es una media hora antes de finalizar, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, aquí estoy ya. Uh. Ya salió. Hoy sí. Hoy, Hoy sí. sí. Wow, decirlo. Wow. Sí, lo no, malo, compañero. No te perdono. Hoy sí ya pude entrar. Gracias, gracias. Ahí le está diciendo que le ayude. <risa> Aleluya, ese Carlos. No, Luis, Luis, ese Luis caminaba dormido. No está Luis ahorita con el... ¿Cómo no? Ahí está, ahí está. Callate, ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó, Luis? Me asustó. Luis dormido, que... está todavía. Sigue dormido. Exacto, para nada. <risa> <risa> bueno, niños, entonces hasta aquí nomás, chicas, porque ya es time to go to bed, ¿ok? Me va a quedar tiempo para empezar a progresar en la, en la plataforma, para empezar a adelantar más trabajo. Y las chicas, si pueden ayudarle, Roberto, please, también en el WhatsApp hay capturas, Roberto, de las tareas. Mm -hmm. Yo he puesto como tres, donde creo que la 12, la 3 y la 14, si no estoy mal, para que usted mm -hmm. pueda tomar notas. Y si no, pues le me le pregunta a Carlita y a Karen, Karen, y también este Edwin me le puede ayudar, ¿ok? Así. Excellent. So, thank you so much for being here, and I see you tomorrow. Don't forget to connect to tomorrow, because tomorrow is the last day, ¿ok? Have okay. nice dreams, and bye-bye, take care. Good night, Good night. everybody. Good night. Take care. Take care. Adiós, chiquitines. Bye, bye. bye. Adiós, chiquitito. Adiós, chiquita. Voy a ir a tomar café. <risa> Hasta amanecer. No, chiquita. Terminando no. las tareas. Terminando de hacer otras cositas sexy. Ah. Sí, tengo que ir a llegar el domingo, si no sabía. Me imagino. Bueno, pues, bye. Si quieres ir a llegar el domingo, ahí, ahí voy a estar en archivos, chicas.
Ok. Sí, me toca el domingo bueno. también. Ok, baby. A esta te espera. Dios. Es un amor, ese, ese día es imperdonable que no lo descanse, pero igual le, estoy bien saturado. Ay, no. Ayer va a ser la día. ¿Mm? Ayer va a ser la día. Yo voy a trabajar no, el domingo. Quiero llevar, este, quiero llevar café en un termito así, pero de este poco expreso. Mm. Uh -huh. La tema uh -huh. que no están las muchachas que me ayuden. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mira, no tenés que ponerle las plecas, pero otras salen malas. ¿Las qué? Las plecas. Mm, yo creí que era otra cosa. Chao, niñas. Sí, bye, bye, take care. Bye, bye. Good, excellent. Good night.